What's going on, YouTube? This is Don Jizzle, aka Fifth Scale RC Insanity. All right, so what I did with these, uh, I got the uh, X2 here. You know, just doing some wrenching today. I took the um, the steering, the front steering out, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna change it with an uh, with aluminum. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I'm going to change the whole steering mechanism with aluminum. I didn't like the, it had a little some slop in it. So I took, I took the whole, that all apart. And I'm going to work with that. But then I got the cat going. I was working with my cat today. And she, this engine is running sweet like sugar right here. Real sweet. Got to fix this pull, tighten this pull start up. But this, this, this thing is running sweet. Um, I put I, I put one of the 990s I rebuilt in, and it worked perfect, beautiful. Then the other one, when I tried to put the other one in, like my man DYI guy and and Boda Gel and everybody say this fucking insulator plastic shit cracked. See see where it, cra it cracked on me. So you got to get metal. Now I went a little deeper, so I. I I got my two-speed transmission here, okay, broken apart. I got this broken down here, okay, the two-speed. Now, they sell it, they, they package it in a nice box and shit. And, oh, they package this shit in a nice box, no instructions, okay? Nice box, no instructions, Okay. So you got to figure shit out yourself. Now, I go to break this thing down because I told you before on my last video, this is the uh, changing mechanism. See that little screw there? That's how you change it to go to change faster or to change slower. Well, when I break it down, this it comes with, it has a one-way bearing in here. This one big bearing is bone dry, okay? has all these little pieces, and these, if you can see, those springs go into the smaller ones that go inside of this. They go in, in in those little holes, but they those little springs go inside of those smaller uh, uh, shims or pegs or whatever you want to call them, and then they go in there and it sets up like a some sort of spider way or whatever. All right, fine. So I had all these uh, these already before, you know. What I mean, I, that's the furthest I did was just all like all you know like this. Uh, these ball bearings and stuff like that. But I never went deeper to break it down. That's where they set you up. Fail. This this transmission was 250 bucks. Okay. If this one way bearing. It was bone dry. Bearings are supposed to have lubrication in them. Had I kept going with it. Like I told you. I didn't ride this the truck this, that much. Had I kept going with it. I got to refinish inside those bearings. I got to like. You know fix it some sort of way, buff it out or whatever. But had I keep going, it would have just blew this whole transmission and then you would have been that's how they set you up. So you can you can keep buying parts. They don't want it to last. But but if you ever buy a two speed transmission from FID racing, make sure you break it down to the one way ball bearing. Take that apart and lube it. I don't know if I should put uh some machine oil lube in there or should I put some silicon in there? That's my question, I guess. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to put some, uh, maybe some 20,000, 30. I don't know. I got, I got 100,000, 60,000, I think 30,000 and 20,000 uh, silicon weight in there. And then I got 40 shock oil, 40, 40 weight shock oil. And then I have some, uh, some of this, um, this um, oil right here, which is uh, turbine oil, which uh, is good for bar bearings and stuff, and it's like it's like a machine oil it's thin, but I don't know. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. We'll put this up. Hopefully, I get some responses. I'm about to soak this stuff and put it, and then I'm gonna rebuild it back after I'm gonna shine these shims up or buff these shims out. See, these are uh, this is the um, FID two speed one way bearing. They tried to fuck me with this, but I 
Got him. Got him first, nigga. I got you first. You know, you know what I mean? Break your shit. You got to break your shit down to the very last spring. You see how big my finger is? Look how small them springs are. S to the very last spring. Okay. So, uh, this is a video, two speed transmission. Got my engines up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, what am I doing with this engine? I'm waiting for these insulators to come in. Uh, you know, I gotta order some insulators. I ain't even order them yet. I gotta order, find some insulators I want, order them, and wait for them to come in. Cause this plastic shit is, is for the birds. And then I got my other engine, my, uh, 30cc, my original Red Cat here. Um, got this broken, tore down a little bit. And, uh, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Still, it's, it's, she's still good. It's not leaking or nothing like that. I'm going to uh, fix it up a little bit. And and this, I'm going to get, uh, like I said, the front end. I'll probably get some some steering, some some uh, caster and steering ties and aluminum rear A arms and uh, caster arms here. And I took out the uh, killer controller. And I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to get another controller anyway, a Futaba or whatever, P, PX or whatever they got. That two, 281, 261. Or I might even get the $500 one, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be on hold for a minute. Get this... I'm going to do this uh, transmission FID. Remember, if you buy this shit, break it down to the one-way bearing. All the way down to the very last compound. For shizzle, dizzle. Brat.